everyone, I'm Kimberly Bottom for IWF TV, the premier woodworking trade show, offering thousands of solutions providers, is finally open to the public. This year they really got a lot of nice things, a lot of nice uh, displays and everything going on. So this is my first year here, I'm very impressed, I can't believe how big some of the exhibits are. The IWF, by far, largest show I've ever been to. It's amazing. Next, we'll show you some of the exciting innovations in this year's new product showcase. We'll be right back. The name of our company is Drawer Connection Incorporated. We are a custom dovetail and dowel drawer box manufacturer. We supply to the cabinet manufacturers industry as well as the commercial cabinet industry. We currently manufacture all of our drawers using either English dovetail construction or bore and dowel construction. The types of materials that we use on our products range anywhere from particle board core melamines to thermofuse melamines on MDF cores, plywood materials, as well as solid materials. It really depends on what the customer is looking for in their job. We bring everything in in sheet good products, and then from that point, we cut to size specifically to our customer's orders. On all of our melamine products, we offer a PVC edge banded top edge, and on all of our plywoods, we offer a clear foil as well as a birch foil. All of our products are fully assembled by hand, and then it goes into a scoring process. That way, our employees can be making sure that all of our joinery is perfectly flush and smooth, so when the customers do receive it, they're happy with the quality. We ship all over the United States as well as Canada. All of our product is hand stacked on skids. We shrink wrap it as well as strap it to the skid to ensure the safety of it getting to our customers in one piece. We are pretty proud of our less than 1% damage factor nationwide. I guarantee you, once you try us once, you'll never go back. IWF is committed to keeping the future of the industry at the forefront. The new product showcase put a spotlight on some of the latest trends, like interactive modeling with Microvellum's Fluid Designer, and eco-friendly practices with ML Campbell's Polarian Acrylic Polyurethane. It keeps the competitive edge going, you know, everyone's trying to get ahead and, and stay in the, in the race of, of new product development, and, and that's why this is so important. All the products are very interesting because it really shows the, uh, um, the technology and innovation that's happening in the uh, woodworking industry. You know, it's not your grandfather's sawmill anymore. And seeing the uh, um, innovation that's happening uh, um, is really exciting in the, in the industry as a whole. It's a distinguished honor that a select few receive. Coming up, you'll hear from some of the winners of the coveted Challengers Award. That's next after a message from our sponsors. The Akoya wood itself is regular wood, but we're changing the hydroxyl units, which are the chemistry in the wood that's absorbing water. That's the beauty about this product is because it gives them a substrate that's easy to work with. Virtually has no warp, uh, cracking, splitting, checking. So your coatings are gonna last much longer on something like this. If you want wood and you want exterior durability with that wood, this is a great choice for all of those options. The Challengers Award is a worldwide symbol of innovation in woodworking, and this year it celebrated its 50th anniversary. The award recognizes innovative technology in products, services, and manufacturing techniques that will advance the industry. Eight awards were given out this year for everything from molding manufacturing to hidden connector systems. You have no idea how important this is to us. Um, the Challengers Award is all about having products that move the industry forward makes it faster and quicker and easier and, and most in a lot of cases even and more cost effective. It brings in software, it brings in machinery, it brings in individual design and engineer and to get all those facets on the same page to understand the power that it possesses was probably the biggest hurdle that we had to overcome. My father won uh, this award in 1986 already, 30 years ago and uh, he was the first Italian uh, machines manufacturer to win this award. So for me and my brother, it's, uh, winning this award is probably the greatest thing that could happen. This is extremely important. It gives all exhibitors the opportunity to enter any form of technology that they believe is inventive and will affect our industry long term. I would hope that in the future, more exhibitors will participate in this important event. Coming up, we're going on the turf in the Georgia Dome. You won't want to miss it, so stay tuned. 
Power up your cabinet making advantage with KCD software. Powerful, easy to use mobile touchscreen software for designers and builders of custom cabinetry and closets. KCD software's custom ready to use design options give you a faster, easier design and production process for commercial and residential projects. Create from an extensive selection of virtual material with KCD software and customize your designs to exceed your clients' expectations. Kitchens, baths, closets and much more. Fast, easy and ready for production with KCD software. KCD's Agile Shop Manufacturing gives you a better workflow. Go straight from your custom design to a CNC machine, cut traditionally or process your order through the Cabinage box system. Built-in, lean manufacturing options ready to go. Find out what KCD software can do for you. Visit us at booth 1507. Wood is enjoying a well-deserved renaissance as a building material. But only as from today, using hardwood as a construction material, has it become economically feasible. Beechwood, first peeled and then stacked again layer by layer, Hence, a new processing technology with an extraordinary material and energy efficiency. A brand new high-tech material is created from a sustainable natural resource. It's called Baubuche. The rigidity of Baubuche is one of its remarkable attributes. As a result, Baubuche allows much more freedom in designs and slender structures with significant material savings in timber construction. The precise veneer layering and its pleasant premium surface make Baubuche the ideal material for visible construction elements, furniture design and interior finishes. Baubuche is synonymous for sustainability, innovation, aesthetics and economic viability. The Georgia Dome is the home to the Atlanta Falcons, but it became a playground for IWF attendees as they kicked off the conference with an opening night reception. Football and food made the perfect backdrop for networking and a little friendly competition. Well, I was fortunate enough to make a field goal. Actually, I made three of them, one, two from 35 and one from 40 yards out. So. My old football days are coming back to me. Oh, I think it's a very special thing, you know, for, for the organization to put this on for us and let us enjoy this facility. Couldn't ask for anything nicer. For IWF TV, I'm Kimberly Bottom. Thanks for watching. We'll leave you now with some highlights from our GoPro coverage on the show floor. Remember, you can watch it live for the rest of the week by visiting the IWF Facebook page. Hey again, I'm Ethan, and I'm here at the Saw Stop booth. I'm gonna check out some safety features. I love Saw Stop, not only because it's a great saw, but because of the safety features that we're going to be showing you as we go around here. I'm with Matt. He's going to be also walking around with us. So uh, let's take a look inside the booth. As you can see, the whole show is still pretty crowded and it's still pretty early. So I'm glad we got in here before the crowd. Oh, he doesn't want the one to tap with dust diamond. He wants the clean one. It's starting to get a little crowded. Yeah, I know it is. So this is our this is our professional cabinet saw. Yep. Optimized in more of a European configuration. You see that the rails are off of it right now, and it's mm -hmm. just got the sliding crosscut table. So just a crosscut only configuration right now. Yeah. There's a lot of different ways you can design it. I have one of these crosscuts at my shop. Works great. I'm a big fan of it as well. Uh, here is the job site saw. Yeah, it's our newest baby. Yeah. It's about 108 pounds with the cart. It's a T-style fence. Quick reset, just like all our other table saws that have the uh, saw stop contact detection. Yeah. One of my favorite features on this, single turn elevation. Up and down in one turn. Yeah, I like that a lot. Put the hats back on. <laughs> so we're going to come over here and we're going to take a little look under the hood of one of these. As you can see, the top's off of this one. So you really get in there, take a good look. We got the blade raise over here. Lock it in. We also got the bevel over here. And we can move this out of the way. You really see the saw stopping feature. And uh, over here is what you all really want to see. We're going to do the uh, famous hot dog demo. I've always wanted to do this. I'm very, very excited.
We're gonna do a little safety here. Raising the blade up. Locking it in. All right. First time I've actually done this to stop it, so I'm a little excited. It's like I, I always wanted it. Right. I'm so excited. I'll Thank you so much. Too, I know. Yeah. So again, at the Saw Stop booth, great saw on its own and with the safety features, I could not ask for a better product. We can take a look in here, the blade. You can see it's got caught in there. You can get, get a good shot in there. So that's, uh, that's saving your fingers right there. Less than a five millisecond stop. You saw it on camera and Find the scratch on the hot dog? I can't even find the scratch on the hot dog. There you go. Saved a finger. That's right. Get a good look in there. All right, great. Matt, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. This was great. Hey everybody, Jared Patchen. Uh, I am at the Curfcore booth here at IWF. So Curfcore makes all kinds of lightweight panel products, different cores different uh, frame options, different skin options. That comes in handy for a guy like me. So we do custom furniture and custom cabinetry, which means there are all kinds of different connection applications, design applications that need to be dealt with. And oftentimes I'm layering up uh, multiple layers of plywood or I'm making my own honeycomb torsion boxes that I then uh, either finish sand and paint or veneer in, uh, in a wood or a laminate. So we have a hotel job coming up where I'm going to be doing a whole ton of that. We're doing a bunch of uh, cubicle kind of cubbies. And rather than me or my guys seeing, seeing out a bunch of panels, cutting out a bunch of little grids and nailing together dozens of torsion boxes, I'd much rather use a current offering from Curvecore to solve that. Save me a bunch of time and save me a bunch of money in the end. So, Tom, good to see you. Um, what do you guys have for, uh, like I mentioned a little bit earlier, we have a style right. and we have a rail coming in. Right. We'll use an invisible fastener of some type right. exactly. uh, to create that, that display shelving in the lobby of, of the hotel. Well, our, our lightweight foam core product, which is obviously about one pound or less than one pound per square foot, gives you a lot of advantages and we can make it in different thicknesses, which you'll see here is up to basically three inches thick. We can also supply with an internal wooden frame or fiberboard frame. So it gives you a lot of options. And you know, while this is not a stocking item, it is something we produce very readily in a lot of different sizes and shapes depending on what you, your particular project needs. Yeah, so, that, so, so that's going to hold whatever right, that's, fastener yeah, that's I need to be, yeah. mortise into you it. Need that for a door panel or anything else as far as that goes. Okay. Excellent okay. fastening. So, Normal old foam, what's the blue? Okay, there's two different types of foam. The, the blue foam is an extruded foam, and it comes in certain thicknesses. The white foam is an expanded foam. It comes in a block, and then it's wire cut to different thicknesses. Okay. We bring them both in, we sand them to uniform thickness, so when we laminate your different skins to them, you end up with a finished thickness. So if you need two inches, we'll give you two inches, not yep. a two inch foam with an eighth inch on each side. Okay, and what's the point, so I've, I've, I've seen this before from my right. curve core rep. Solid balsa wood core, right. so balsa wood's light. It's a, it's a very light balsa product. Uh, it has a lot of uh, advantages because it's a low density, yet because of the end grain, and this is all end grain construction, so this is a bunch of materials that have been glued up and then sliced off. Yep. So you get the same amount of strength in this that you would a, a sheet of oak, okay. end, end grain oak. So now you get the lightweightness, get the strength this way and then what we do we would laminate a hard board or, or a fiber board or a popper to it so now you've got a very lightweight rigid panel that is not going to have you uh, the weight you know the particle board which is you know about five times heavier than yeah that's board. right so so you, so you guys have a, have a thing here so it's so it's three layers of particle right. board the foam I mean they're easily right. one tenth the weight right one twentieth the weight one fifth the weight, yeah, one -fifth the weight. okay so then with the with the balsa core, does that can that take 
a fastener, or does that need to be perimeter? They're, they're actually, there's actually some fasteners made, and there's actually a booth here okay. that makes fasteners that are designed for that. Okay, that because that'll be a little more porous than the poplar, right. of course, so yeah, it needs you would, to... You would be able to uh, route it out, glue it in place, and put screws in combination of two, and you have the invisible fasteners. Okay. So it's almost right up your alley what you're looking for in this place. Is there a reason to choose the balsa over the foam? It really, there's not. Uh, the foam, you would have to have some type of a, a perimeter yeah. banding. Yeah, yeah. And in that case, you know, you're adding some cost to that where you wouldn't in this. Okay. But then this core material is going to be higher price than that. And then when you get thicker, foam's by far the most competitive. Okay. So then with this, um, I, let, let's say I just buy the, the foam core with the, with the outer skins. Right. I cut it to size. Can I just glue on yeah, a poplar sure. edge? Yes. Definitely. Myself, because then I may HPL over the side or, or something. In fact, uh, I think I've got a sample here that shows how you can actually just wrap it out maybe the back. Okay. Lay a piece of wood in there. Get some extra strength you back there. And you've got your faces on both sides kind of capturing that piece. Okay. So you can lock it into place. So you may be able to save a little bit of money on your end yeah. or yeah. Not, yeah. not paying you guys to put the right. trim on. Right. Do it plus, yourself plus if you, you need to do a finished how much look. Do you need? Do you need a half inch? Do you need an inch and a half? Yeah. You can determine, and maybe your vertical pieces need to be more than your horizontal. So you okay. can do a lot of lot of options, a lot of varieties. Of them. Okay. And sizes? Sizes uh, normally four by eight, and we say a nominal four by eight because we start out with four by eight materials, but we can go up to a five by twelve. Okay. Okay. In different sizes. To get to get your yield or, or yeah, whatever you may need. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, as you go up bigger sizes, then you got pretty issues. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, lightweight panel, but still, you know, you got your size in the country. So. Yep. Another interesting thing is, is doing a miter fold. Uh, that way you can do a miter fold on a thinner face material and create a lot larger looking, like a faux beam. Yep. Yep. That way you've got the same look, the same feel, but you've got, you know, in this case, probably one, you know, one twentieth of the weight. Yeah, and, and it's all held together just through the rabbits, it's just using the little with, skin. With the glue line on the miter. Okay. And then a rabbit and a, and a skin to, to match around the frame. Yes. And you would just machine this on a CNC machine, yeah. just like yes. just like just the like regular old panel. Exactly. Okay. That is nice. Interesting. Awesome. All right, Tom. All right, Jared. Thanks so, so much. Nice to meet you. Yes. I do enjoy it. Good. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Bye. The FastenLink connector system offers three primary benefits to the manufacturing industry. Benefit one is the completely concealed fastener. No more exposed screws or cams to attempt to hide. Two is the ease of manufacturing. Benefit three is the most important feature. Our industry partners that have switched their fastening platforms to FastenLink are stating a 40 to 50% time savings in assembly alone. If you want to learn more, go to FastenLink.com.